I started to mention before some symptoms of insulin resistance. So even if you don't have lab work, you can get some good clues if you have insulin resistance. And one of which is sh craving the sugars or starches, because again, we're not moving sugars into cells normally. Another symptom is feeling hungrier if you eat breakfast. And I've heard this for years and years, that people will say, I don't eat breakfast. I've been told I'm supposed to eat breakfast. Everything says you, you do much better with weight if you eat breakfast. But if I eat breakfast, then I'm ravenously hungry in an hour or two hours. So I eat more all day. And that is indeed true if you're insulin resistant. And the reason why that happens is because the body responds by making higher insulin levels, if you end up eating a traditional breakfast, which in the United States is primarily a high carbohydrate breakfast, like cereal and fruit or toast, you know, someone who's dieting might have just toast and tea, you know, trying to not eat really any calories, or just oatmeal or pancakes, for example, but it's a high carbohydrate breakfast. And since that person has a lot of insulin on board because their body has made more insulin, when they have a high carbohydrate load, it translates into a high sugar load. So blood sugar goes up rapidly, and because there's a lot of insulin on board, it comes down rapidly. So sugar goes up fast and it goes down fast. And when it goes down fast, it will trigger the symptom of hunger. And in fact, this is not normal hunger. This is intense hunger that people have described to me, and I felt it myself, as I will eat anything that doesn't eat me first. And the reason I felt this is I do have family history of diabetes and I've been pregnant four times. When you are pregnant, you are in an insulin resistant state. That's why a lot of women get morning sickness because their blood sugar is dropping. And I would find that I would have breakfast and I'd have to go to work and have another sandwich, like right at nine o'clock. And if I had cereal in the morning, then I would feel weak and shaky and lightheaded and nauseated. But if I ate protein containing foods, that didn't happen. And indeed, that's what we find with the menopause metabolism as well. So feeling hungrier all day if you eat breakfast, but specifically the wrong breakfast for insulin resistance, which is a high carbohydrate breakfast. Um, feeling weak or shaky if you go too long without eating is another sign. Again, because of those higher insulin levels, eventually sugar drops. And other people will describe that they're not hungry until they start eating. They wake up and they're not hungry in the morning because insulin levels are higher and the body's been working hard to push sugar into cells all day. It's been, uh, I'm sorry, all night, so it's been doing that. So you're not really hungry in the morning. And often people say, I'm not really hungry at lunch, but two or three o'clock I start getting hungry and then I eat and then, I can't, then I'm so much hungrier. It's like eating has actually accelerated the hunger and indeed that's the case. What I have found is that eating the wrong foods when you have this condition actually acts like an appetite stimulant. You stimulate your appetite. And this is very important because in my practice here in Naples, I have worked with thousands of patients over the years and a lot of them are age 50 and above. Many people in their 60s and 70s, I have quite a few patients who are 80 in my practice as well, but they have heart disease and they have high blood pressure and they have diabetes and they have all these other medical conditions. So I can't rely on taking a diet pill which will elevate blood pressure and pulse and different risks in people with that type of population. But I still need to be able to provide some results to my patients. And what I find is by controlling the meal plan, coming up with the right meal plan for each individual can really control hunger. And that's the key.